here at Lars, and today we have something very exciting going on in the rescue. We are going to be welcoming a new macaw. So I kind of want to walk you guys through the process of kind of what that looks like and um, kind of show you everything that goes into uh, bringing a new bird into the rescue. So first, we're gonna need to assemble the cage and then we're gonna get into some other stuff. If you guys are interested in learning more, definitely stay tuned and remember to hit that subscribe button. get this cage assembled. Fingers crossed that I did not lose any of the hardware because that's something that I would totally do. I did not lose the hardware. Here it is. Okay guys, let's get going with this. something basic right now. I don't want a bunch of overstimulation, which is part of the reason why I'm leaving the cage the way that it is. And then uh, we'll just, you know, work in our new little friend here into the rescue and kind of get me used to everything around here. I'm excited. I have our new friend. I'm going to bring him on over. to get Harley into the cage here at the rescue. And so I'm gonna see what is his way that he wants to get into the cage. Is he gonna step up? 
am I gonna end up wrapping him in a towel? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. When I um, was talking with his um, person who surrendered him to us, she said that he was not trained to step up at all. So uh, we're gonna definitely see what he wants to do. I like to go with whatever the bird is comfortable with. You know, when they're settling into the rescue and they're in a new environment and they're around a whole new flock of birds, it's very important to read their cues and be able to kind of discern what is the best way to handle the situation with the bird. So we'll just see what we're gonna do here and we'll look at getting him into his new home. Okay, so just like I was told with Harley, he really was not interested in stepping up on me, but I did get him into this towel. And so uh, now we are going to see if we can comfortably get him into the cage. You looking around? See all the other birdies? This guy is really a very sweet bird. Are you very sweet, Harley? Yeah, I'm a very sweet bird. Yeah, he's a very sweet bird. He, he really, he doesn't seem too worked up or anything. He's just kind of checking out the scenery and checking out the other birds. Can you get you inside of your cage? All right, guys, I gotta show you this because this is absolutely hilarious. Um, we are sticking Harley right next to our bird, Maverick. Maverick is acting like an absolute goofball. Check it out, what do you guys think? What do you think, Maverick? That looked like a nice new friend. Yeah, are you saying hello to Harley? Are you trying to get his attention? Does he look like he's fun to hang out with? When we get in a new bird, like uh, Mr. Harley here behind me, I do expect that there is going to be screaming. Um, that is something that we're going to work on with training with Harley is the uh, screaming and making lots of noise. And then uh, the other thing that we're going to work on, as usual, uh, we're going to get him on a diet of rowdy bush pellets as well as our chop. So initially what we're going to do for Mr. Harley is we are going to put him on zoo cream pellets. That's what he's been in in his previous home. I want this settling in to be as easy of a transition as possible. And so I'm gonna set him up with his pellets right now. I'm kind of standing at a distance right now because I wanna see kind of how he's reacting to the other birds. Um, you guys might hear those short little bursts of screams. That is what he's doing right now. Again, this is totally expected. He's in a brand new environment. Definitely has to get used to the environment and being next to other birds. And uh, Harley is also a 30 year old blue and gold macaw. So, this guy's been through an awful lot. He was with a lady for approximately 27 years, and then um, he went to his new owner who had him approximately three years, and now he is at the rescue with us. We are going to get him some toys and everything to kind of play with tomorrow, but for tonight, um, he's just gonna chill out. I, he's in a new environment. I don't want him getting spooked in the middle of the night and getting caught up on a toy or anything. So we're just going to keep his setup really, really basic for his first night here with us. And uh, we'll see how he does and check back in with him tomorrow morning. I am here with Mr. Harley Bird, who is right above my head. 
He's going to be nervous for a little bit. This is totally expected. He is settling into a new environment. We're going to do everything that we can for him. And we are very happy to welcome him to the Lars family. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a couple of things. And uh, remember, if you ever have any questions or uh, need any information, you can definitely feel free to reach out to us either via our Facebook page or via email. And I hope you guys have a really great day.